Hey there, horror fans. Welcome back. It's been a little while, but it is time for another huge horror haul. Now, this is stuff that I found in stores recently. Uh, it should currently be in stock. So if you see anything you like, go check it out for yourself. Uh, first up, Target did their toy sale. Again, they do a few times a year where they do $10 off of 50 or $25 off of 100 plus your 5% with your red card. So I grabbed a few things from Target. Let's dive in. Uh, first up, I got the Frankenstein accessory set from NECA. Now, it doesn't come with any of the figures, but I already have both Frankensteins already. So, it has the operating table, this sheet, the new bandaged head, and it has a backdrop for the whole thing. It'd be cool if it came with the doctor figure as well. It could just be something small. Didn't have to be as detailed, but uh, that'd be really nice. But anyway, um, you can't really see how this looks in the box. I'm going to have to open this up. It's one thing to keep your figures in the package and keep them pristine, but you can still look at them and show them off. But uh, this does no good just being in the box. So I'll have to open this up. I'll open up the figures as well and put it all together and show you. Speaking of the figures, I finally got a Dracula Ultimate figure. This is the black and white version. And uh, unlike all of the other Universal Monsters, which I believe are just identical between, between the uh, colorized and black and white, this is a slightly different version. This is the, uh, it doesn't say it on here, but I believe they call it the uh, Carfax Abbey version. Uh, it comes with the top hat, cape, and cane. So it's cool to have like a slightly different version than the uh, colorized. So that's neat. And speaking of, when I went back a few days later, they had just got it in the colorized Dracula, as well as one of the Invisible Man figures, but I couldn't afford to grab those two at the time. So search continues for those. Uh, I was happy to find, during this haul, the Toonie Terrors Leatherface figure. Now, when I had seen him at toy shows the past few times, um, all the other Toonie Terrors were like 15 bucks, and he was 30 for some reason. So I thought he'd become rare or valuable, and I missed out on him. But he's retail at Target. They had a bunch of them, plus got the sale deal on them. All right, so I've uh, grabbed a few more, uh, several more, of the... NECA sci-fi and horror blind bags. I've done, I think, two videos before showing you uh, opening these up to various results, but um, there's still things I'm looking for in these, so I'm just curious. And these all felt very different and unique. This one's flat and hard. This one's kind of uh, flat and puffy. This one's like bursting at the seams. So really curious to see what's in there. And I actually, had, on a different trip, grabbed one other one that also felt unique. Um, yeah, I would love to open these up right now, but I don't have time in this video, so we'll do that a different day soon. And last item from Target, I got the new Toonie Terrors Killer Clowns from Outer Space Shorty figure. So there's Shorty with his boxing gloves. Also has the uh, popcorn bucket with the heads growing out of it. And the backdrop there with his uh, tricycle. So that's pretty sweet. It's still looking for the Killer Clowns 2-pack they put out. But every time I've seen it places, it's been like $65, which is insane. So, yeah, still looking for that. All right, so moving on from Target, but keeping with the Killer Clowns theme, I went to... I've been telling you for the past year I've been having a hard time with Hot Topic. Uh, they've just been doing things really weird. But I finally was able to finagle a few things and use hot cash and use my reward points. So I grabbed a couple things from there. And keeping with the theme, I got the Shorty Handmade by Robots figure. I should do a few of these before, like a ghost face and stuff. But uh, yeah, they look like they're like a knit doll, but it's actually a vinyl figure. And also got the limb and made by robots he is a limited edition that's why he actually costs a couple bucks more but yeah these retail at like i think 15 and 20 each but i paid seven each for them with the deals and one more deal i got uh they had this frankenstein and bride necklace on clearance not that i'm gonna wear a heart-shaped necklace but um it was originally 13 it was on clearance for four so I had to grab that. 
uh, for the collection. All right, so one more. Speaking of color clowns, a different kind of color clown, but I got this about a year ago, but I never showed you because I didn't. It didn't fit into any of the videos. But from Facebook Marketplace locally, I got these two items. Got this uh, Pennywise bowl holder. He's a lot like the Jason one I have right here. They're both like flat, so they'll just fit right on the shelf or against the wall. And the Pennywise is from uh, Ruby's Costume Company. Uh, Jason, I couldn't find that logo on him anywhere, but I think they're from the same line. But um, it's cool. He has some like little nicks on him, but uh, that's fine. He actually works for the character. And the other item I got from this deal was this little box here. And inside is uh, the original Pennywise figure. Now these, I'll show you, are from a line called Smalls. Uh, there's a few. They're all the Warner Brothers properties uh, you've seen in other lines. But um, yeah, they're, they're $13 each retail, which I think is way too much for a blind box like this. But I do got to find the uh, new Pennywise there. This is a uh, older wave they released a couple years ago. And they actually re-released this now uh these same ones but they also have glow in the dark and bloody versions and stuff like that so if you want to find these you can find them now i think walmart has them and game some game stops all right uh speaking of walmart moving on um found these there on clearance i don't have much garbage pail kid stuff but i do collect the horror items and i do have some of the nasty nick stuff so i had to grab this coffin car also but as you see it's not nasty nick it is evil eddie which is the alternate name for him which you don't see uh too often it's usually nasty nick is like the more popular version of the two so it's cool to find something like that and i also have some um adam bomb stuff so I had to grab his car as well but same thing it's blasted billy which I, I didn't even know that was the name i never see that but adam bomb is like the most popular one so that was cool these retail at 16 but i got them for five dollars each so that was awesome all right and lastly i found these monster cereal lip balms the three big ones count chocula frankenberry and blueberry so try not to lick your lips while wearing these <laughs> All right, so that is everything for today. I have plenty more. I've been working on my rotating shelf, which is directly behind you, you can't see it. I changed over to Killer Clowns. So I'm still working on it. Got to add all this new stuff to it. Um, some other videos I got. Uh, I went to the Living Dead Museum. I got to show you that. So tune back in for all that. Thank you for watching this and I'll catch you next time. Bye.